My name is Donna Evans, and I'm a part of the Composer Specialist team. In this video, you will learn about connecting Salesforce to NetSuite. There are several reasons that a business might want to do this, but let's begin with talking through what these connectors do, then we'll go into reasons why we want to use them, and finally, show you how to get these two systems connected live. First, what are connectors, and when would you use them? In general, you use connectors in Composer to integrate with the data and systems that you want to connect. They are pre-built, easy to use, and abstract away the technical details involved when connecting to a target system. You would use the NetSuite connector when you want to automate your quote to cash process, for example. So in what situations might you want to build a flow with these particular systems, NetSuite and Salesforce? A common reason that you might want to connect these two is to automatically create a sales order in NetSuite every time a sales opportunity is marked as closed one in Salesforce. We're going to use Northern Trail Outfitters, or NTO, a retailer, to show you what this use case could look like live. The sales team at NTO uses Salesforce CPQ to manage and maintain sales opportunities and every opportunity goes through a series of stages in the sales process, from prospecting to proposal to price, quote, close one, or close lost. And the sales team also uses NetSuite to create and fulfill sales orders, manage inventory, as well as track financials. To eliminate the manual tasks that that sales team is currently performing and achieve a near real-time integration, NTO will use MuleSoft Composer to create a flow that creates a sales order in NetSuite every time an opportunity is closed one in Salesforce. Specifically, the example flow will perform the following tasks. Find any new or updated opportunity that's marked as closed one in Salesforce. Get all of the products associated with that opportunity and account. Create a sales order containing all relevant product information in NetSuite. And then update the Salesforce opportunity with the NetSuite sales order number. So now let's see what this looks like live. You'll start on the homepage for MuleSoft Composer. Here is where you'll find everything you need to know to get started, as well as Composer basics and deep product documentation. For this example, I've already pre-built the flow. We'll want to initiate this flow every time a new record is created, specifically an opportunity. You can select only the relevant fields or all of the fields that you want to map over. On the right-hand side, you can see a sample output, which will show you exactly what data you've selected to make sure that it meets the needs of the business use case. We'll then add some business logic. And for this example, we want to only initiate this flow when the stage of the opportunity is marked closed one. And we'll want to make sure that we get the associated accounts. So we're going to get records, specifically accounts, and we want to make sure that the account ID equals the same account ID from Salesforce. Again, you can see a sample output on the right-hand side to show you exactly what this information will look like. Then, we'll want to make sure we can map over those opportunity products. So, we'll want to get records, specifically opportunity products. But we want to make sure that all of the conditions that are met, meaning that the opportunity ID still equals the opportunity ID from Salesforce. So, we know we're mapping the right opportunity over. Then we'll want to run through a list of items and bring those into NetSuite. So we'll create a record, specifically a sales order. And here is where we'll do the mappings. NetSuite has a bit of a different objects and fields from Salesforce. So we'll want to make sure that the two are mapped correctly. The external ID from NetSuite should equal the opportunity ID from Salesforce. The transaction date in NetSuite should equal the last modified date. The internal ID will equal NetSuite ID and the account name will equal account name. You'll continue to do these mappings specific to the data that you want to pull over into the sales order. And that's it. So we'll go ahead and test this flow. Now that this flow is in test mode, I'll go off into Salesforce and I'll initiate the trigger that will start this flow. If you remember, it was every time an opportunity is moved to closed one. So here's my opportunity for Northern Trail Outfitters. They're purchasing hats for $1,295. So we'll go ahead and mark this stage as complete, which will initiate our trigger. Great, the opportunity's been closed one. So now we'll go off into NetSuite. 
and we'll want to refresh the page to see if the sales order has been created. And it worked! Northern Trail Outfitters, and you can see the exact same dollar amount for $1,295. To recap, in this example, use out-of-the-box connectors to connect NetSuite and Salesforce. But if your use case involved a different target system, you'd still follow the same exact flow. Thank you for watching this video, and be sure to check out additional resources for MuleSoft Composer. Have the best day!